Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. And if we sound better, we have moved our mic that we had back here. I hope we sound better. Yeah, yeah, I hope we sound better. And we put it right up here like we used to do in the studio, yeah. which hopefully will keep that. Even Brian was telling us yesterday, which we already knew, keep that, the echo. If you can't tell, we don't spend a whole lot of time on this show. No, man. Yes, we do. No. I mean, no, no. usually eight or ten minutes. So, but, I mean, and if you have audition, maybe we'll pull it up and we can see. It takes like that long Okay, if you have it. We, we can do some other stuff. Well, it's my favorite shirt. It's my favorite shirt. Literally, my favorite shirt. And if you looked at all the comments yesterday, Mr. Aaron Bird was paired cinch jeans and pearl, nap, pearl snap shirt. How could you wear that all the time? Uh, Maddie was with the sleeveless dry fit. We're in Arizona. Uh, but we got to, got to see what people, what, you know, what they enjoy wearing, what they are, they're comfortable in. Not, it has nothing to do with today's show. I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. My dad calls well, me. Well, look what I got on. I know, Kurt Baxley shirt. Friday, backyard. Kurt Baxley at the back. You mean with Katie's Holly on? Tucker opening. If you guys don't. I follow Holly Tucker on Instagram, okay? And, of course, all everybody in Waco probably has her on her Facebook. But there are some times if you don't just click on her page and watch her just a cappella singing into the phone, just the phone. Right. Not in this good-ass studio like we got right here, but just on the phone can sing. Yeah. I mean, can sing. There's Shout very out. few people in this town Shout like that. Out. They can do that. I am not one of them. Nope. One thing I will say about him is I can't sing either. Kirk Baxley, not you. One thing I say about him, I see him posting wherever where he's going to play. Yeah. And and pushing the backyard stuff. I appreciate that, man. I really do. This story is going to bring you back to the first time we met. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Get a call from my dad. So what's up, Pop? He was like, well, I was going to take the Jeep, which he had an old... Uh, that white old Jeep that converted to the mail deal, yeah. switch sides. I'm going to take the Jeep and my trailer, and I'm going out to some lady's house in the country, and I'm going to do some cleanup, get some brush out for it, everything. As he stopped and parked and got out, before he got to her house, he turned and looked, and there was fire coming from under the hood. That happens. At that point, he called the fire department, mm -hmm. which either they're all eating, they're all doing something because <laughs> they're volunteers, <laughs> So by the time they got there, the Jeep, the mail Jeep, and the trailer are gone. Burned up. The trailer too? Trailer too. Burned up his trailer. So <clears throat> my pops is uh, out doing some stuff. He's going to watch the show at the end of the day. So pops, we just want to say that happened to Chris. And that led to a 30-year relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it brings us up this one long word called insurance. Insurance. Now, people close to me know this story. I went to the doctor yesterday to draw some blood. And uh, the lady goes, and, and we have Tell the Health Pass yeah. USA Insurance, which is Obama covered, right. where we don't have to pay the fee, right. blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't cover... Your blood work. Blood work and stuff yeah. like that. So the lady goes, do you want me to bill you or would you like to pay now? And I went. <laughs> bill me. Bill me. <laughs> bill she me went, well, that. you get a big discount if you pay today. Going, okay, whatever. So go back, takes blood, you know, talking. She goes, are you sure you don't want to pay today? I'm going, are they getting bonuses for <laughs> getting people to pay early? <laughs> She said, yeah. it's a big discount. I said, how much? And I'm not going to tell you the number she told me because I went, well, just tell me what mine would be then. Right. And she went in there, just this, like that, just like this that. Was your, <laughs> yeah, this was your, what but, the bill? <clears throat> if I bill you, it right. would be $587. Right. 85 87 something like that. And I went, okay. <laughs> But if you pay today, it'll be $111. 
That is this. That is this. That's not five times. That is this. Yeah. Five times the charge is what they're charging insurances. Yeah, that is. I promise you. We are in the wrong. So if you wonder why the self-employed can't afford insurance, yeah, that's why. And all we had to do is just like in the movie Scream, is I stab you right here. You could have gave blood. It looked like I got that right there. I had a couple of stitches, and you are good. But I have to go do that too soon because it's coming up on my 50th and I've got to go get my PSA, do my blood again and everything. And son of a motherless goat, I'm going to have to pay $111 now. Well, I'm just saying, anytime you go to the doctor, I would ask. No, I totally agree. That's I would our, just ask. That's what our buddy Brad does, right? <laughs> yes. Instead of saying, bill me, just tell me what it is and I got to owe. What will you take? And so, I'll give it to you right now. Pulled my credit report the other day. Just see what see what's on there. My appendix is on there. Right. It's a big bill. Big bill. If you call I'm going to bet you. You can send them. I can get out of it for Half, pennies. Probably five times. At least. I'm talking probably pennies on the dollar, which, you know, if, if you go into with a, just a broke arm, $10,000, yeah. $12,000, I think. It's crazy. I hope I don't have to find out, but I know I know this was twelve. Yeah, you and know? you were there two days, right? You went in. I went in at night, had the surgery. They couldn't do it until three o'clock the next, next day. day. That's right. So That's I had right. to stay till the next morning. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> so two days, twelve grand. Yeah, might as well stay in the. And only cut me that big. If you're gonna pay chart, you, you better cut me this big. Little scar. That's what I'm saying. You. So I go. I was in this gang fight. Yeah. I was in this war fight, gang fight. Did you see all the people with their favorite food? Mm -hmm. I was pretty dang excited to see how many people like just one totally different stuff from from what we do. That that was just insane. And we are taking into consideration all of your football bets. It's on our deal, so we, we will have proof. We have record. And I have not seen one. I could be totally wrong. I have not seen one Patriot fan. One Patriot deal. Everybody, and I'm going to bring this up. Does everybody hate a winner? I think they hate smug winners. Belichick is very, very smug. Right. And Tom Brady's just that poster boy. I'm a... God, I hope my brother ain't watching this. <laughs> I'm a Tom Brady fan. I am a Tom Brady fan. Came in at the last, next to last pick in the draft. Didn't have a shot. Read what he was good at. Made better that. Got a chance. And had how many Super Bowls is this number? Well, this is number seven they're in. They've won four, five. Four, somebody correct me there. Four or five. This is number seven. No, this will be number five if they win. He, t- he ties Chuck Noll. I believe that's right. Somebody, he does. Yeah, Belichick. But I he did he win all those with Brady? Brady. I don't know. I have to. Yeah, somebody correct. I thought us Brady's on that. won three, and he's been to f- four, maybe five. I, anyway. Well, they've lost twice. Let me just say, good-looking guy, won a bunch of Super Bowls. Hot wife. Dates supermodels. Marries supermodel. I can't hate him. I'm sorry. I just can't. It is literally hard. To Unless do he's that. playing the Cowboys, and I hate him. But the thing is, it's hard to, to. People say it all the time, but you you did. But it's hard to really look at an underdog who went. They don't think I'm good enough, and I'm going to work my butt off to become great. And once I do, yeah, I got a chip on. You my know what? Shoulder. It depends on what sport you're watching. If you're watching football, right. you hate you hate that Richard Sherman. You hate that Belichick. Yeah. If you're watching MMA, you love Conor McGregor. Yeah, well, that, that's exactly. You love right. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that's that's you. Yeah, that's a really. But if good they story. were in if they were in something else, you had to, you, you know, you, you made a great point there. <clears throat> so it, it's kind of what the media makes that sport. Yeah. We like to see Tiger Wood fail. Because he was so good. Yeah, most people do. 
you know, I, I don't. But. You know what I mean? You want it? Well, I don't even come back after everything. You know, he was handed it to him. This dude's playing golf since he's three years old. Yeah. What's handed to you was a club. People hate a winner. People hate a winner. This show's a winner. There's a lot of people that <laughs> don't like this show. We had one comment on a guy from YouTube, and it was on one of our shows back in the past because when we upload, we get it. And he said, "It's just what? It's just uh." Oh, it was uh, it was the show on how to get rid of chiggers. Yeah. And he went, two more village idiots. <laughs> <laughs> two more village idiots. We always. What do it. most people do if they get a comment like that? They comment back. Da, da, da. You don't tell me that. Thank you. I very came much. right over here, told Russell, we laughed like hell. Yeah. Thank you very much. If if everybody likes you, I think you're you're false. I think you're a little fake. I agree. If everybody likes you, I think something's, something's I, wrong. I, I, I totally agree with that. I, I do. I think if you, you're absolutely right. I don't, I don't like you, so that means you're pretty good. That's what I'm thinking. So, before we get out of here, did you get all of your stamps licked with your tongue on your invitations and sent out. Here's the deal. Let's hear the story. <clears throat> I spent two hours on the computer. Okay. And the envelopes, it's not a regular envelope, right. it's the one with it would suck it through, twist it, and wouldn't print. I had it to where so the printer where could work. print right. the addresses. Okay. Just say I'm getting a little frustrated. <laughs> My frustration leads into more frustration. Uh, I go in the other room. Good call. I come back. Brooks has written all of my list and writing hers. Handwriting. Trooper. If they don't look really perfect, because I think she was still mad. <laughs> and she's getting it. So I sit down and went, we have two different save the date cards because there was two pictures we liked, so we ordered right. both. So I'm putting them in there. What do you want this one to have? <laughs> I'm being quiet now. I, we get them in there. So now, <clears throat> return addresses. Which would be mine. No, yes. yours. Mine. Yours, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the corner. Let's run to Walmart to get some labels. Just put your labels on there. Good call. Go to Walmart. Like that. Get the labels, come back, they they print fine. I start putting the labels on, she starts licking every envelope. And when I do, no, I got it. It's usually the other way around in that house. I agree. But, I went, I'll take it to the post office in the morning. I said, I think they got a deal that you can send them through. And yeah. They don't. <laughs> but, the beauty is, you don't have to lick stamps anymore. You just peel them and stick them. You peel them and stick them, yeah. And to the six people that did not help me, because everybody came in, I was like, "Hey, I got room." They just keep and that's walking. on that's over there. He knew not to ask us. Yeah, that was a good call. That's friendship right there when you know. But she had to do all the licking. Hey, about time. Yeah, exactly. About dang time. We're gonna get out of here, man. Watch, like, share. Put your Super Bowl picks down here. Let us know. You see our lunch special. It's been up for a while. And remind me to save the date and stuff. I got a topic for tomorrow. Perfect. We've been, we've been going a while. Perfect on that. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. And we are... <laughs>